Hey, you welcome back. I'm just the Minister of Sports. And he's telling you that everywhere you look at is success, success in 2018. Because we missed, also missed that, that, uh, um, that you know, the, the Scrabble, we are a Scrabble play, the best Scrabble nation in the world. Uh, uh, Nigeria is rated number one ahead of the U.S., ahead of other Scrabble playing nations. And like you said, that English is not, no, English is our, but English is our number one language here. Yeah? Uh, it may not be, but it's our national lingua. So, uh, um, but then our, our Scrabblers, uh, uh, Wellington, Jihiri, and Co., you know, wherever they go, they went to Kenya. And then in the African Championship, it was Nigeria, one, two, three, four, five. The first five positions occupied by Nigerians. And when we go to the world stage, you remember Wellington too was a former world champion. So he tells you that, yes, uh, uh, maybe Scrabble or, you know, should be one of our high points, if not the highest points. The para, the para uh, uh, Olympians, I tell you, whatever they go there, like he said, it is the World Cup. They're not going to pick the gold. We're saying, if they are going to pick the gold, we're saying by what margin? You understand? We say, look, golf, how many uh, uh, at, at the PGA, the, the, the majors, how many times do have, you know, have, uh, have the champions emerge? with over uh, eight stroke and above. And I tell you, one man has done that so many times. Over almost, almost 10 times he's done it. That was Tiger Woods in the sporting championship. In the very first one, he won by 12 stroke when he won the Masters in 1997. So he tells that yeah, there are class, there are Masters, and there are Masters. And there is a Master in the house. Yomi Kuku has just joined us. Hello, Yomi. Welcome to the show. Well, good afternoon. Good to see you. You're giving me that title for the first time. <laughs> hey, we must wash our mouth. Exactly. Uh, you call me Master. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, you're yeah, master of the game. Uh, um, one of the experts we have when he talk to grassroots uh, development, homeless World Cup, uh, a man who is dodged and then who say, look, what would, be, what would be original? What would be original? This is how we go about it. And uh, uh, stop on to a false because when he believes, when he believes in a cause, he only follows it. But then he's also an uh, analyst, a friend of the, he's part of the house, not a friend of the house, he's part of this house in sport. You know what I mean? Uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are looking through 2018. And then uh, what, what stands out for you? Uh, well, as usual, um, the games that everybody celebrates the most, football. But one thing that I picked most from your intro when, when I came in was, uh, you know, the success story behind Scrabble. Yeah. But unfortunately, <clears throat> the good thing that we're seeing with Scrabble it's not as regards to what Nigeria is putting in. Mm -hmm. It's more of personal development and yes, you know, exactly. effort of people. And this is much easier because it's personalized. It's an individual thing. But the takeoff from that is that you need to also highlight the point that education is playing a role in getting to bring out the best of Scrabble players in Nigeria. So if we are to look at it, the I fundamental, really yeah. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> fundamental thing is that yeah. They need to take all sports back to schools. Now, there's a caveat to that. A lot of times we organize tournaments and we think we're developing sports. We're just promoting. It's purely promotional. You know? And most of the time when you engage in these promotional events and um, things, it's more of uh, personal gains for uh, the administrators and not of the players, the athletes. As the or the sport itself. itself. So it's more, you go all out and you go into the media, the newspapers you're seeing, they are praising the administrators, they are playing, pay, praising everyone around it. We less focus on the players and the sport itself. So what I'm trying to point out is that we need to take sports back to schools. What that means is we need to put a lot of funds. How much is Nigerian budgeting for sports next year? How much goes into capacity development? How much goes into sports in schools? How much is going into promotion? Because, I mean, uh, if the National Sports Commission says that they're putting in a lot of money, they're putting in a lot of effort, what, what you need to question is how much of these coaches that you have across all the federations you've also supported in building their capacities? Okay, I, 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 want, I, want to, I want to help you a bit there, or, or throw a little bit, or you know, a, a, a little light on that. Uh, there is the sports policy. Mm. And then there is a recommendation in the sport policy yeah. that from the local government, mm -hmm. the state, and the federal government, mm. a minimum of 5% of that budget should be set aside for sports on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. It is there. Mm. And that policy is what we say, this is uh, uh, the 2009, 2012 you know, uh, uh, sport, sport policy, mm. which we all signed. Mm. And said so this, is, this is going to be uh, our, our guide. This is going to be our roadmap 
this is going to be how we want to if we want to develop sport. So you are saying it is it is it is measurable. Yeah. To so say, look, this is how much you budgeted, mm -hmm. how much did you spend in sport? For how, what purposes? For what purposes? Yeah. Okay. I, I want to start by keeping our words. The lines will be open now. You join the discussion. What is your highlight? After 12 years, after 12 years of waiting, eventually we went to Abuja for the 19th National Sport Festival. The last one was in 2012 in Lagos. And for, 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 uh, for, six, years. for six years, it was still born. But then we went there, and that is uh, uh, where we say, where you mean, you say that's the carousel from which you want to pick. So what were your high note? Is that your high point of the for Nigerian sport that eventually were able to go over there and get it done? There, that is the number. Pick up your phone. Tell us what your, your 2018 was like. So let's see. Um, it's like we're still in 2018. Like <laughs> <laughs> I said we agreed. In the intro, I said... Tomorrow I can come up with a tournament and then we'll still play. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I looked at it. Look, these events have passed. I mean, as at now, probably the only thing hanging is where... Uh, when I when, put up a tournament tomorrow. Uh, uh, what of probability? You yeah. have not... <laughs> So okay, okay. What I is yeah. what is your twenty? What, what is your you know? But these events have taken place. I mean, it it is based on those ones that you want to choose your high point. You know. So what what has it? Okay, what has it been like? Mm. I mean, I mean, not worse. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. think that is that is a bit better. Yeah. Uh, a present continuous. Okay. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I know go school. <laughs> so so what has it been like? Uh, what what has been your your high point of twenty eighteen? Our uh, sporting year, the year in review. Uh, uh, what 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 reticle your fancy? Uh, we, we, we looked up sports we, uh, in general. We talked about we talked football. Said yes, it was a World Cup, a World Cup, or it is a World Cup year. You're misconfusing me here because I'm just <laughs> trying. I'm trying to keep it so that we all can understand where we are. Uh, uh, it is still running. We have about 24 hours or 36 hours or 40 hours to go in 2018. So we can still talk of 2018 in the present, but then the events are of the past. The events have passed even if it is 2018. So let's just accommodate ourselves there. And you may want to start giving me thoughts from this place. <laughs>